you need to take the Thinking Skills Assessment, also known as the TSA, if you're applying for any of the following Oxford courses. Philosophy, Politics and Economics, Economics and Management, Experimental Psychology, History and Economics, Human Sciences, or Psychology, Philosophy and Linguistics. The TSA is an online test delivered on behalf of Oxford University by Assessment Specialist Pearson View. This means you need to register for your test and book to take it at a Pearson View test centre. In 2025, there are separate registration and booking processes you need to follow to take your admissions test. Candidates will need to register for their test between the 18th of June and the 19th of September, 6pm BST via the Oxford Admissions Test Registration Portal. Registered candidates will be able to book their test appointment via Pearson View's booking system between the 18th of August and the 26th of September, 6pm BST. We strongly recommend you book as soon as possible as test centre places are allocated on a first come, first served basis. To book your test, you must have already started your UCAS application, as you will need your UCAS ID when you register. It is particularly important that you register early if you are requesting access arrangements, as this involves a few additional steps. You will be required to submit documented supporting evidence of eligibility from a medical or educational specialist and have your request and evidence approved by Oxford. Please watch our registering and booking for an Oxford admissions test video which outlines the process. Or, if you require access arrangements, for example extra time, then please watch our registering and booking for an Oxford admissions test with access arrangements video for more information. If you haven't yet registered and booked to take your test, pause this video and go now to the Oxford admissions test registration portal. In 2025, all candidates will take their TSA on either the 21st of October, the 22nd of October, the 23rd of October, the 24th of October, or the 27th of October. Our admissions tests aim to stretch the strongest applicants, so don't worry if you find the test hard. It's supposed to be. The best way to prepare for the TSA is to explore the practice materials you'll find on our website. We know that applicants who practice tend to do better, and we strongly recommend that you familiarise yourself with the test content, structure and format so you can do your best on the day. Now, let's take a look at the TSA online practice test and explore the test platform so you can feel confident on your test day. First, read the instructions. You will see that the test is divided into two sections a 90-minute multiple-choice thinking skills assessment and a 30-minute writing task. If applying for philosophy, politics and economics, you will be registered to take both sections of the TSA. Section 2 will appear once you have submitted Section 1. You will be required to take Section 1 only if you are applying for economics and management, experimental psychology, history and economics, human sciences, or psychology, philosophy and linguistics. Section 1 is made up of 50 multiple choice questions and aims to assess the following. Problem solving skills, including numerical reasoning and critical thinking skills, including understanding, argument and reasoning using everyday language. Section 2 is a writing task that seeks to evaluate a candidate's ability to organise ideas in a clear and concise manner and to communicate them effectively in writing. The questions are not subject specific and candidates must answer one question from a choice of three. You won't be allowed rough paper in the test, but you will be given laminated sheets for note taking and planning. You'll need to hand these in after your test. While on the test landing page, you can choose your preferred color scheme from the drop down menu in the top right hand corner of your screen. You can change this again at any time during your test. Once you have read the instructions on the landing page and are ready to begin your test, 
click on the next button in the bottom right hand corner of the test screen. Always remember to scroll down to the bottom of the page by using your mouse or the scroll feature on the screen to make sure you don't miss any of the extract given as part of the question. In the top right hand corner, you will see the time you have remaining. Immediately below is the number of the page you are on and the total number of pages. If you want to leave a question for later, you will see a flag for review option in the top right hand corner. By clicking on this, you can navigate back to this question at the end of your test. Don't worry if you don't use this option though, you will still be able to review any answers again before submitting your test. In the top left hand corner, you will find a highlighter button. Use this to select text in a variety of colours or to remove the highlighting. Clicking on next again will take you to the item review screen. Here you can see the status of your answer. Using the headings at the top of the table, you can select review all or incomplete. Incomplete will only show if you haven't started an answer yet. If you flagged your answer for review, you will also see this option listed under that heading. Essentially, there are several easy ways to go back to review your answer and it doesn't matter which one you choose. When you return to a question now, you'll also see a review screen button in the bottom left hand corner. You will only see this after navigating through the test and after visiting the review page. The navigator button located at the bottom right of the screen is available throughout the test. Back on the review screen in the bottom left hand corner, you will now see a submit test button. Once your answers are complete and you are ready to submit your test, click this button to finish. A warning pop-up will appear asking you to confirm whether or not you want to submit your test. If you click yes, another one will appear to double check. Finally, once you have submitted your test, you should click on end exam and exit the test platform. Doing the online practice should help you feel confident about taking your test, but there are likely to be a few small differences between this and your actual test. 1. Non-disclosure agreement. After logging onto the test platform, you will be asked to agree not to share the contents of the test with anyone. If you do not agree to this, you will not be allowed to start your test. 2. Before starting your test, you will be given the option of a quick online tutorial on using the test platform and exploring the various functionality. If you don't want the tutorial, you can skip this and immediately progress to take your test. Whether or not you opt for the tutorial, your test duration will remain the same. The tutorial will not count towards the test duration. Have a go at the TSA online practice test at ox.ac.uk forward slash TSA, but please note that you will not be able to submit your practice tests for marking. For all information and guidance on Oxford's admissions tests, including tutors' top tips for success in the TSA, go to ox.ac.uk forward slash tests.